So the first thing, which I think it's very vital for every scholarship and even any other job or any other thing which requires admission is eligibility. So it's very important like um, to consider those steps. Like you can't just you cannot just apply for anything if you if you don't know that you are qualified for that because you waste your energy and, and then at the long at long as you now realize you you are not eligible at some at some point. So it will be a big mess. So it's better to analyze every detail and then if you see you don't meet one one requirement then you leave it you go and look for other opportunities so this one of art university yeah it's for every nationality like everyone can apply from every country so the thing is you must have completed high school yeah and also you must you must have interest in agriculture because here we 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 do major in agricultural engineering so it will be a big problem if you don't have any interest in that. So if you if you show no interest, you'll not be considered because it, it means you do not do, you will not value the scholarship. You might even drop all that down at some point. So that's the thing. And also another important thing, it is the, the leadership and the entrepreneurial part, the skill. It's because here, yeah, what they value is like the university itself, it has got a vision of making leaders of change. Like, so if you show that you are a leader or show some skills of leadership and entrepreneurship maybe you manage you manage some projects such stuff and also you be participating in the community so that will convince that that means that means that you are you are very you are very qualified for the scholarship so the university will, will be like ah this person as is the perfect fit because it goes hand in hand with with our mission and vision. So another important part is the the challenge, economic challenge. So like the master card scholarship is looking for students who are interested in in, in learning but they cannot pay for themselves the fees fees. So if you are such a person, then it's very important to to learn how to it's very important to learn how to show such things because these details are very important. For instance, they case like someone was just re rejected because of a, a certain incident. Okay, I think the person was qualified for this course, but he, during the interviews, where where she took her interview was a different different location. So she took an interview, I interview in a, a very serious house and, and then the interviewer asked her, is this house yours? Does it belong to you? Such stuff. So from there, he now knew that uh, this person, even according to, to the law, it just says that you are not economically challenged. So there they will just cancel. So if you you know like you are you really know like you are you, you are in, you live in your small village like just accept the situation and take your interview there and then all will be well so there you will there will be no problem 
So the next step is the application requirements. So it's very important to consider this. So the first thing, the first thing as I, of which I believe like most of you have done is like registering registering your personal details. That's the first the first step. So after you register your personal details, later on they they will send you an email saying so they'll just tell you thank you for your interest applying at the university. And then from there they will send you they will send you making your account later on of which you will use it to to make your own online profile. So that's the profile you'll be be using to apply. Like you'll be dropping all your documents there, your application will be there, and then when it's done, it's it auto saves like it saves anything you anything you write or anything you attack just be saved there. So when you are done then you can can submit later. So what's important here is like the recommendations like they need three recommendation letters from people who are not your relatives and friends. So these recommendations are very important because this is your profile and you have to stand out from other people. So how can you make sure that you stand out? So it's like uh, paying attention to every detail and also making sure that you you are unique and you answer all the questions which are which you have been asked. And when you you've been asked questions, don't just answer then. Yeah, don't just answer like shallow, shallow. So you can go deep, like try illustrate something like no, no, not illustrating. I mean, explain. So you can explain them if there is a need, so that someone can understand. The point here is to communicate. Yeah. So these recommendation letters. Uh, the, as I told you earlier, the university has got its own format for the recommendation letters. So you cannot just start. Yeah. Okay. I, I just saw some. Some things. So I was trying, I was adding something. So yeah, that's very important. So the recommender should know you for at least three years. So you can you can make either choose someone, maybe maybe you have been working somewhere like for a certain company, or you are a student somewhere and yeah, so you can either choose your employer, maybe a, a teacher, maybe a family, no, no, not family, I mean community, community, community leaders, or as well, it can also be a friend, not, not, not a friend, oh my God, so it can be like, Maybe like you've got also like pastor, someone like that, because they are at church, you know, you know one another, so he can also recommend you. Yeah, it should be someone who knows your interest of agriculture, like your interest you you shared with him about you are going to school, whatever, all that. Yeah. So another thing here yeah, you should also be honest because if things or are not be rhyming later on then they will not consider. 
develop conceive the your application and yeah i think that's that's it on the recommendation recommendation part so this recommendation is very important it's very important because this is what they look at mostly i think yeah so make sure you you write it well okay you get someone who can recommend you well and yeah the person who knows you well can do that best and do it better so another one is this one of transcript from the last three years of of high school so you can you can attack them or maybe if you have done a diploma such stuff you can attack them too and and also any additional supportive documents like maybe you've done you've done some some courses or you, you and then you've got certificates so you can you can attach those documents in that in that profile of yours. So these ones are they are nice because they will be supporting you like when you say like I, I did this and this. So it will convince like when someone reads then from there they just know okay here here is the certificate so it's true. The person is not just right in one place. So that's the point. So if you have got many of them, like even a hundred, you can just attack them because they, they are supporting them, backing you up. Okay, so what's the process now? So it seems long, but you have to trust it. So just do it to all your best, like the way you've started, then you have to proceed like that. So the first the first the first step I think most of you, all of you have done this, which is the creating your online account and after that, you fill the application form, as we say. You attach now the, the documents, the recommendations, and the supporting documents. And when you are done, you are good to go. You can submit your application. So when, when, when everything is done now, you have to wait. So here, the good thing, they do communicate. They'll just let you know, like, sometime after, sometime before, before the interview, just tell you, okay, you have been shortlisted for interviews, prepare for the interviews. And also, they, they are so honest that if, if you are not being qualified for interviews, they, they will tell you, so they will not just keep quiet like that. So, so these interviews, these interviews is made up of like all this, the aptitude, the aptitude test, the math and English, and also this one of oral interviews, social economic form, um, psychometric, is a type psychometric test. So here for math, it's just the high school mathematics, you know, and then the English, the English now, which is just like passages and grammar. Yeah, it's just basic things, but you have to. You have to research more on this because it's very important. It's what is connecting you to another to their another part. 
like if you miss this part then you will not proceed in the rest so when you are done with the this test with the aptitude test when done with the aptitude test you will do this one the group interviews okay there is oral oral interviews which 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 is made up of group group work and personal so this oral will make you in groups and then from there you they give you a case study maybe some problem and then they ask you how can you okay maybe things change but during our time we are given a case study then they told us to how to solve that problem so it's just like how you reason and, and how how you are showing your leadership skill so this part is very important so it's very important because you have to, to show your leadership skills there so what is what does it take to be a good leader you consider others and also lead the rest so it doesn't it doesn't mean like you have to be manipulating in the group like like now you you have to do everything at your own then the rest have no say you have to make a balance between all that so it's not easy and it's not and it's not that hard so it depends on how you make a balance between both things and also the courage hey guys there is some background noise you can you can mute your microphone no one take my game Okay, uh, meet, meet again. So after after the interviews now, they will send you some documents also. Like they are also part of they are also part of the, uh, the process because if you do not meet any if you don't meet the requirements of any of them, then it means you are out. So they will send you a social economic form, which is basically meant for um, to know how how needy you are, like if you really need the scholarship. Because based on the social economic form, they will allocate you for a certain scholarship. If you are really needy, then they will give you a full scholarship. If if you are not that needy. They will give you a passion. Oh, they will give you a full scholarship, but with some restriction. So that's 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 the thing. So you have to to answer according. And here on the psychometric form, it's basically on how you reason. They are testing your reasoning skills if you can reason if you can reason well so guys the process is not that that long and that short so when done with everything, you will wait. So this is the one of the happiest moments, the saddest as well. So like May. So normally they do this in May. When done, because the interviews are, they, are, they start by March. After March, now you wait for some month. Then by May, they will update you. 
guys now we have we have 10 minutes so i think from there we can we can join later on on the questions part we can join again then we ask questions and then i think we'll be good to go so here zoom is saying so in the tending stream it comes out so after that they will they will now send you updates so once you are done say congratulations you've been admitted to art university and from there they will give you now the details directions like what what you have to do so they will send you the admission letters and also some some money for processing documents so these documents now this is another process which which is very important and also tiresome it's tiresome because there are a lot of documents here and you will have to travel a lot for them and you have to go to every office to get them so it's very important to get someone who can do that with you so connections i mean because it's good when you know where to go and how to do it so if you don't if you don't know it will be active so uh, the thing the document basic basic documents are the birth certificate and also they ask for some passport photos i think these ones are for application for the visa so while you're applying for these documents they will also be the admissions office will be applying for your visa and and also the yellow yellow fever documents police clearance certificate so police clearance or certificate of good conduct so once you have these documents you can send them you can ship them to costa rica through dhl uh, and after that after that they will return those documents now with a visa then you are good to go you can now travel to costa rica to Ag university so once at Ag university you will um, okay it depends on how 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 long you took to apply for your documents so if you finish earlier so it means you'll be arriving in uh by by august but if it delays so it depends others arrive in august others september october november so it depends on your document so that's why i'm saying the earlier the better so that you also start your Spanish program, which normally starts by August. So by August, people get, get started with learning Spanish. Because here, <clears throat> we normally do it in most of the courses we learn in Spanish. But there are a few, a few cases where we do it in English, like English course and other course, one or course which is, I think it's endomology, if I'm not wrong. Yeah, so it's, it's very, very important. So guys, by by January, you now get started with your dream career, which is agriculture engineering. And there, you are good to go. So here, for the questions part, we only have less than five minutes, I think. So, what I suggest is we 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 make a new new meeting again, like we join afresh, because here we are remaining with five minutes. Or we can okay, someone can ask, and then if if it cancels, then we can we can join later. We can join afresh. So guys, you can ask any questions.
I don't know if I've been clear. So guys, the room is yours. Don't hesitate to ask anything because we have to clear doubts and we make sure that you guys apply accordingly. Okay. So, I think you can proceed. Okay, I have a question. Uh, just, uh, just, would you please uh, re re repeat the, the the question part, the the beginning, the way you, the way you highlight the the question. So that is where I want to, again, you just repeat it so that I can get you very well there because I just joined a, a little bit late. So this, I didn't get some information. Ah, uh, what I. Where did you join at? Yes, 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 yeah, yeah. Interview, sorry. The interviews. Ah, uh, interviews. Mm. Okay, yeah. For interviews, we said the first the first interview we'll be having is the aptitude test. This aptitude test is made up of mathematics and English. So this math is just the basic high school math and basic English as well. But now the thing is it's time. So it means you have to practice pretty well so that you you go well with this. So here yeah, practice is very important. You can even start your practice right now while you are applying for your documents. You just you proceed with the practice because it's very important. Yeah. Then the other one was the oral interviews. So for oral interviews, it's a it's divided, it's in two parts. There is a um, group interview and there is group interview where you be asked to do your whatever your discussion as a group. You you solve a certain problem, a case study. So there they are testing your leadership skills and how you reason as well. Then the other oral interview, it's now you have a personal personal interview, one on one, like you and and the the and the interviewer. So there they're just trying to know you personally. So you'll be sharing sharing with them. Just there you have to be normal and yeah, talk like you don't have to fear anything, just talk. Like in a normal way, and share, share, share with them. So what is important here is like when you are doing your oral interviews, you have to be okay. When they ask you questions, don't just answer questions like short, shortly. So you can answer a question and then you back up with our experience. How any explanation. So you can explain something and then you can give a brief, a brief instant, like your experience. So there the person will get convinced. So like when they ask you, uh, are you interested in agriculture? Then you say yes. You stop there. So how will you how will that person get convinced that? Okay, um, I think Peter now can pick from there and ask your question. Well, thank you very much. Uh, I have two questions to ask. Mm -hmm. The first question is about um, creating your own online account where the documents can be uploaded. Mm -hmm. And then the second question is about uh, the three transcripts. Is it like uh, from primary, high school, and then institution of learning, if in case someone attends such? Um, I think, no, primary, no. <laughs> okay. 
you just get your the one for high school and you know, for the institution. That's what I, I recommend. If you have got the diploma, you can attach the diploma and also <coughs> the one from your high school. Okay, Thank on you. the on the supporting on the transcripts, it is said that the last three transcripts of your high school. So the for the last your last three years in high school. So those are the transcripts. And then like the diploma and the other institution that you joined, you can include them on the supportive documents because there is a section of the supportive documents. Okay, thank you. Hey guys. You can ask if you still and then, and then on the, the other question of the of creating your online account. Okay, your online account while when you click on the link. It will give you a section of where your where you where you, where it says apply. So when you apply, you you'll fill your your personal details. That is your name, your passport number, or if you don't have, just write not applicable NA, or your ID number and all the basic details. Your email. So when you filled out all all the all those information, then you'll be given an email after two days where that the email contains the recommendation letters and the q and the cr code that code you'll be, you'll that is that in that code is when you'll be accessing your your profile your online profile so that code code number you just enter your email and the code number so that is your profile and then at the beginning at the very very beginning of your profile you have to, you have to upload your your passport photo like you take it on your phone and it should be a clear photo of you like it should show you clearly then when you upload it then you'll be able to access the questions while you're answering and they'll be saving thank you i hope it's clear yeah yeah, yeah it's okay Oh, can I ask a question? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I joined now because I was late a little bit, but because of network and my phone was having some problem. Okay. Yeah. First of all, my name is Dude Dual. And I'm eager and I'm interested in joining this great opportunity. So my question was, I have started to pass through that application letter before, but I don't know more detail about the scholarship. Let's say there's a certain part that they wrote it that they will send us the full form that we will fill it. You will put your detail, which is your document and some other requirement that they will fill inside it. So, shall we wait until next year or will be this year? So that's my question. Thank you. Um, when did you register? I register on October the twenty seven. Then I think you should look into your email because they respond, yeah. they never delay, they respond within two days, they'll give you a response with your CR yeah. code. So check into your email. Okay, fine. I will check my emails. So thank you. Okay, in case you, you don't get your email, you can also check in the other part of the email. How do you call it? Spam? Yeah, you mm -hmm. can you can check there and if you don't get it you can also, mm. you can also no you can mm. 
you can you can write an email to the admissions office. Maybe okay, maybe they because, uh, they have forgotten or such stuff. Okay, I will check my email today, and if I will not get it, also I will text them through email, right? Yeah. Okay, fine. Thank you. Okay, welcome. Okay. James. Yes. You've got a question. Guys, if if you don't have any question, then I'm convinced now you know what to do and you can now proceed from there. But the thing is, we will not stop being with you until like, okay, for those ones who will also get shortlisted for interviews, we will still, we will still share more like what you should do. Here we have been just seeing it shallow, shallow. So we can still share more on interviews. And also those up to the tests we can can recite for them and also share in the group for you guys. For those who will who will proceed. Yeah, and I hope that all of you will be will proceed to the next level so that you'll be be selected for interviews. And then from there you be good to go. Yeah, we will do that. So the thing is just get started right now. Like for me, Hey, sorry for the interruption. Yeah. So, like, uh, I don't know if it is if it is really clear for you how to apply, like how to get your online profile. So, maybe if you don't mind, I can I can still show those ones of you who don't know. Second, I'm looking for something. Look into your WhatsApp, I've shared the link. Okay, thanks. Hey, um, I, I, I want to share my screen. I'm sorry for the delay. So I think you can now see.
can you see my screen? Yes. Uh, it's okay. Fly. So that's the apply button. You just click, you give it a click. So after you apply, mm. after that, you enter your details, your name. Your name, the, the email, yeah, personal details, the year, whatever, gender, such things. So after this, you send, after sending this one, you will now receive, you will now receive the, the QR code, the, the code, I mean, you receive that code after those days. So after that, you will receive that via email. You will receive it via email and I will also show you where to click so that you, you continue with the profile. So for, for the guy who had, is it Noon? No, no, I forgot the name, I'm sorry. Uh, you can, here you can see, here it's Mr. Young, the one for, responsible for African countries. So you can just give it a click then. You describe your, the concern, like the problem, telling you this and this. Like you applied and then you haven't got it yet. Yeah, then from there you, you, will, you will go through in case they have, they have forgotten wrong. Or you'll give you some other directions. Yeah, so let me now show you where to, like the second step after that. So, So here yeah, I'm using my example, like and can you see this? Yes. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So after you have entered all those details, you will now receive such an email. Dear so and so, thanks for the interest. So they will now tell you, please click, click apply to access our application form. Yeah. This is now the online profile we are talking about. So when you when you give this a click, the apply button, you will now it will now take you to the online profile. Again, after going there you will now have to enter this code. So when you enter this code, it can give you options to change, to change the password. You can customize the password. You can give it any password. Yeah. So that's, that is it basically. So after that, you are good to go. You've got your your profile, and then <clears throat> and then from there you you can now enter all the details and attach the document. Guys, is it clear? Okay, I have a question. Okay, go on. Okay, after you submit your detail, right? Mm -hmm. And then you have complete, and you have complete your detail. Yeah. Will the will the will the contact you through your email or through WhatsApp number? No, it's it's your email. Huh. Right now, it's your email. It is. 
Okay. It will, it will reach some point where you they will create a group for you, like those ones who have been shortlisted for yeah. interviews. So they will group you. They will make yeah. they will make a WhatsApp group, and then they will be reaching you through WhatsApp so that it doesn't delay. Okay. Okay. Fine. You no, know, um, look, you are saying when you are replying to John, like as I told you before, like where I showed you before, if you click the, the button under, like what the option I showed you, it's the WhatsApp. So when you click it, you are reaching him via WhatsApp. But if you write an email, it will be an email. Fine. But so, if you have some problem, yeah. uh -huh. I have a question. Um, okay. Miyom, you can ask then later on. He proceeds, Peter. Oh, okay. Go on, go on. Oh, should I go on? Yeah. Okay, okay, the, okay. When you show us that clicking button, okay, uh -huh. should we? Okay, should we, okay, because now we don't have some requirement like an ID, we don't have them. How can we apply without an ID? Because they have them in the, in the recommendation. You're saying the ID, which national ID? Any ID, any ID, because I like an ID, right? Like a Leon or national ID. No, Can we I... apply with that in the application letter? Or... No. Okay. Okay. Tabitha, you can answer it. Okay, on the part of the ID, because on the application, there's that ID number or the passport number. But if you do not have it, you just write not applicable. N A. So they will know you don't have it. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Man, just run for this. Don't. You'll just get your list and like, then the idea is you later on. You work on it later. Okay. Okay, um, Nelson, I have a question. Yeah, yeah. Uh, then after after you, okay. it's uh, was it Peter who asked who was to ask? Yes. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. So my question was. So, I saw it that they have written somewhere that you have to get some recommendation. Yeah. It is like three. two or two or two or three. Three. Are you, are you are you the one who going to write those recommendations or somebody will write? Yeah, it's it's somebody. <laughs> that person who is recommending you. It can be a teacher. Can be community leader. Uh -huh. Oh, you are pastor as well. Your, for your employer. Man, I don't know if you are content. Are you getting us? Okay, I think he's gone. So... Peter, I think you can pick from there. You can ask. Mm. Uh, well, I also have a question still on creating the online 
online account. Uh, for instance, you may enter your mail, the password and all that, but mm -hmm. uh, they're, they're, they're like, uh, at times when the, the computer maybe tells you it is incorrect password. So I was of, uh, that, that, is there a need for you to create or use a different mail for this case? Or you use the previous mail you have been using you have been using before? Yes, the email they the email they gave you. The one you applied. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. I get you right. Thank you. Okay, welcome. And then maybe on the other on the other the other question I would love to ask is uh -huh. mm, now assuming one of your referees or the recommenders, mm -hmm. in this case you have been you have been tasked to send your your your, your recommendations, and one of them didn't really like send it back on time. How will this be? How can the person be helped in any way? Okay, so man, the thing is, it's you to help yourself. Uh, you have, mm. you should have like options. You can have like, sure, sure. Um, you can even send to four people, five. So the rest are like, are like a backup, like in case someone so delayed, you, you reach out to someone else. And also I recommend you to start your recommendation process like right now you can send them what the moment you just get your online profile you download the the recommendation forms and then you share with, with your recommenders um yeah and then from there i think we, we even still have we even still have time i think the deadline is tabitha what's the deadline is it january i don't know January. Yeah, January 15th. Yeah, so we still have like how many months are those? Two. Two. Yeah. And also another thing is you have to be like someone explain the, the whole situation to the recommender and also be nice. Try convince them so that they can do it for you. I know it's tedious. That's why you have to be so nice, convince them so that they can help you. Show them that you really need that help. And also, the idea I can give you is tell them the deadline, which is not, which is under the deadline. Like, if it is January, you can tell them the deadline is uh, December, maybe before Christmas. So that that person will consider in their mind that, ah, I don't have more time so I have to help this person. Okay. Nelson, I have a question. Okay, man, so, ask. okay. If I just going to apply for that form of scholarship, right? And maybe I will get some contact, some consequences, some challenges. So at that time, will I contact people who are in WhatsApp group, or will I contact Mr. Dean, the one who is in charge of the African who are going to apply for the, that scholarship? He's saying if you've got challenges, and then yeah, it's, who to reach out? And I, I need a help, yeah. No, the WhatsApp group, it's like you are fellows. So the person there, you have to, it's him. So you can tell your concerns to him. Okay, fine, thank you. Yeah. So guys, I I think you, you you've gotten me right like, what I'm saying is you don't have to lie like to the recommenders like uh, this thing is needed, like the deadline is at uh, this. No, what I mean is like you have to 
tell them you need that recommendation letter before this time. Yeah, that's the point. Don't tell them that you need it by the deadline. That's what I mean. Mm. I don't know if it sounds good for you. Yeah. Yeah. Really, don't, really don't tell them that nice. you need them by the deadline because something might happen and then you get disappointed. Surely. Yeah. So if you don't have any questions, uh, let me mute this. I'm trying to minimize the noise. So when, when it's your turn, you, talk, you can unmute and then you proceed so that we avoid the background noise. Okay, guys, I just add one, one more thing to, to share with you before we we end the meeting. Um, because I really... I really wish you all the best in your application process. Ah, I'm sorry, I didn't see this. So, Mio, you can proceed. Okay, sorry, sorry, I asked this question let's again. Okay, should we ask for recommendation? Should we seek recommendation somewhere? Oh yeah, you have to get, no. The recommendation, the other at the university has got its own format. So once you get the online application, application yes, profile, you yeah. download the, the format and then you share with the recommenders. Okay. Three of them. Yeah, okay. at times they send it through your email together with the with the code. So the the recommendation letters, then you download them or you print them out if your recommender is near. As for my case, my recommenders were near to me, so I just printed them out and gave them in hand. Or you can share it with your recommender. The recommendations they have their own format of which it's it's sent through your email. But if it's not sent, you can download it and share it because they have some specific questions that the recommender has to answer that the recommender knows about you. So those specific questions are the ones the recommender will go and answer about you. Would that recommendation require some experience or just a recommendation? Yeah. Will it require some experience? Yeah, it requires some experience. Like, okay, for our recommendation, like we were asked of the leadership experience that that we, we have and also agricultural experience, either you've taken agriculture in high school or all the stuff and also like your entrepreneurial experience. If you are an entrepreneur, what did you do for entrepreneurship? Such stuff. So it should be someone who knows you that you've done this and this and this. Also the leadership skills and experience. Okay. So, guys, look, we've got uh, less than we've got less than less than ten minutes. So, Zoom will cancel again. So, I think if it cancels, we we continue we continue with WhatsApp, the WhatsApp group, and then oh oh, you want another? We want us to continue on Zoom. I don't know. So, yeah. Zoom is the best. <laughs> okay. So for the rest, if you feel like you are, you would like to go, you've got some other things to do, or everything is clear to you, you can you can just leave the meeting. And then for those who have who still have doubts, 
here you can I can continue with that. What do you think before it cancels? Yeah, mine is just uh, I want to thank those who conduct this meeting through the through Zoom because this is my this is my first time to join and to know each other because I'm new and I know only Tabitha, but Mr. Nelson didn't meet with you, but this is the first time. So mine is much appreciation to you guys and also for your support to your people. So those will be my comment. Thank you so much. Oh, cool, man. Thanks. Uh, yeah, yeah, much grateful. We are willing to, to help each other. So don't just feel like in case you need to consult anything, just feel free. Okay. Thank you so much. Okay. So, guys, it's like that if you. Yeah, if you've got stuff to do, if everything is clear, you can just leave. But before, I wanted to show you something because I want to motivate you guys so that you, I was to forget that, so that you really proceed, take every step seriously. Um, give me one second. So guys, can you see this? Can you see this? Yes, 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 we can. We yes. can, we can. So at the end of everything, you will receive such a message. Congrats from admissions office. I'm pleased to inform you that you've been admitted to Earth University to pursue an undergraduate degree on agricultural science for the class of this and this for a full scholarship congratulations so guys i'm doing this to give you the energy and also to trust the process so that uh, you really be optimistic uh, with your application process take every step seriously and pay attention to details and also research in advance so what i mean is like uh, you can research about the aptitude test, what it takes to, to to go through a certain interview. But also in the process, we can also share that. But it's good to take your own initiatives as well. Guys, I was just, we were, we were once like you and yeah, but we just continued like that. We didn't give up. Look, we applied for many scholarships. Okay, like in my case, I applied for many. Uh, through the same links we shared with you guys. So, and later on, I also got another partial scholarship. It was, it was just up, and I didn't go by that because I couldn't afford that money. So, what I mean is like, this thing is possible. Like, every link we share just try 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 to to apply one after the other and then you wait for for the results one day things will go your way and you will just celebrate it yeah so that's what i that's what i wanted to share with you and i'm up we will be really glad to see you guys also having great moments when you receive such messages. Then you can also, don't forget to share with us like in the group because this journey is for all of us. 